So, hello guys, and welcome back to Spacebound 2, and today we are going to look at some capital ships. I've come to the point where I wanted to buy a capital ship, and I noticed that although the Santhian CMK OA is the only ship you can get, the price varies quite a lot. So I found this cheap, cheap ship for 88 million, that's without the equipment, and looking over the stats, I've noticed that it has... 55k shields, 78k armor, damage bonus 22%, ship crit chance 0%, ship crit damage 89.5%, fire rate 12%, heat cooler 10%, projectile speed multiplier 20%, accuracy 20%, shield reboot 4.5 seconds, shield recharge 13 seconds, damage is up 4%, damage resistance 5.5, ship energy 260. And a half after looking around i found this other ship also santian also required level 29 max captives five five weapon slots and five probes it has the same distortion charge and it has the same cluster barrage and this one has and this one has 56k shield 75k armor 24.2 damage bonus still zero crit chance Ship crit damage 93%, fire rate 12, heat cooler 9.6 minus, projectile speed multiplier 20.7, accuracy 21.9, shield reboot 4.4, shield recharge delay 12.5 seconds, damage absorb 3.7%, damage resistant 5%, ship energy 243.4, energy region 1.8, Shield region, 45 seconds. Ship speed, 1,700. Thrust and recharge rate, 2.8 percent per second. Thrust of fuel, 41 percent. Warp speed, 13 million. And the same scanner efficiency, cargo compression, cargo slots, crystal efficiency. We don't know what that is yet. Cargo capacity, missile booster, and armor. It's pretty much the same. The equipment value is actually the same, so we take that off as we did on the other one. If we take off equipment, we have to pay 103 million. Why do we want to pay 103 million when we can actually get get the other one we looked at for 88 million? That's 15 million more. So what do we actually get from that? If you add it all up, it looks as follows. So if we compare the ship side by side as you can see on this picture well basically you get a thousand shield more uh, that's not a lot you actually lose some armor 3000 you have a slight damage bonus which is nice of course the ship crit chance is the same you get 3.6 crit damage guess that's nice but if the crit chance is 0%, I'm not sure how much that will do. The fire rate is a bit slower, half a percent slower. The heat cooler is a half percent slower. The projectile speed multiplier is a slightly bit faster, it's not a lot. Accuracy, slightly better, 1%. Shield reboot is about 0.1% sec faster, that's not a lot. The shield recharge delay is a bit faster, and I'm guessing that's a good thing. Damage absorb is actually worse. Damage resistance is slightly better. The ship energy is actually quite a lot worse. Shield regen, I'm guessing it's better to be faster. I'm not, not entirely sure, hence the question mark. The ship is a little bit faster, but not a lot. Thruster recharge rate is slightly bit faster. Thruster fuel, well, I'm actually not sure what thrust of fuel exactly is uh, if it's even in the game yet so I don't know if it's better or worse and the warp speed it's actually a bit slower now it also has two less cargo slots but it's actually able to carry more in those cargo slots so is it worth it is it really worth it to pay a 15 million more for this ship I'm not so sure it's definitely not the upgrade I think it should be i mean i guess 
I guess a thousand shield is nice, but three thousand armor less. Is that worth it? The damage bonus is nice, and the crit damage might be nice if you actually do crit. But the fire rate is slower, the heat cooler is slower. So is it really worth it to pay 15 million extra for this ship? I'm not entirely sure, but I guess you can look around and find other ships and the stats will change a bit. But it does seem strange to me that those fairly minor changes and some of them actually negative means you have to pay an additional 15 million. Um, I don't know if the shield weighs more than the armor or the fire rate weighs less than the crit damage which is weird if the ship ship crit chance is zero percent anyways but that might be dependent on the stuff you put on it the weapons and and maybe the your character skills so it if you have really good crit chance and that carries over to the ship now the 3.6 percent might make up for the slower fire rate in any case, I just thought I would do a short analysis of the raw ship stats when you are going to buy a capital ship. So I guess we should buy this one and then go check it out once we kit it fully with everything we can put on it. I'm just going to go buy it, then I'm going to go visit the different places where I can get better components for the ship. and. Once I've done that, I'll be back so we can see the new stats on the ship. After having gone around a bit looking for the different items I needed to upgrade, uh, I'm finally back on my ship, back where we started. We got the ship upgraded. I still need to find a proper hull and a proper shield. And the totals are, are looking fairly good. Of course, the, the character attributes and the components helps a lot. So, but the the raw stats, but the raw stats are the same. These stats didn't change. And I'm guessing if you want to make a a crit damage build, you can stack up on crit on your attributes and on your weapons and stuff. So that will, and if you do, of course, the ship crit damage will actually matter. And that was uh, three point six percent higher on the, the expensive ship but again I'm guessing that if you browse all the ships you can find the stats you want but the price really doesn't make the ship better it just changes around the stats a bit um, at least as far as I could see uh, it could be that ship crit damage is uh, a lot more expensive than say ship damage bonus so that's why the price of the ship rose almost 15 million based on the ship crit damage because we did get a bonus of 3.6 ship crit damage and we did get a bonus of 2.1% of the ship damage bonus so so we might have paid for that and those minor minor upgrades but I do think that the extra price of a 15 million might not have been worth it um if you are kind of poor and you just want the best possible ship and you just if you're kind of poor and just want a capital ship i'm guessing you could do do just as well with the 84 or 88 million ship than getting the than getting the 104 or 5 million ship in any case, now that the ship is kitted out, uh, I'm going to end off this video with a fight scene. Doing some fighting in it. And if you found this video informative or helpful, please leave a like or leave a comment. And yeah, subscribe if you like. If not, um, see you in the next video.